Alright y'all, Ian is in better lighting and it's 9 o'clock at night me recording this so I'm sorry for no streams but we're gonna get we're gonna get right into it this should be the final episode of this series and then I can get to ranking them but it depends upon how quickly or slowly I can get through clockworks area because this area is kind of like a skill check really but is this a strange coincidence? there's a lot of mini games in this one and unfortunately that's one of this episode's biggest weaknesses is a lot of mini games but it has a really good parkour section and the boss fight hey, slide. The road to Fortress is blocked. but we're gonna be getting some video topics done and what I want to, I'm sorry if I do just go completely silent as this starting section here is actually somewhat pretty difficult. This is not the easiest to control, but the topic is going to be mainly MJ and Orochi, sleeper picks, and whatnot. I think there's just a spot where I can hold it and... And as you can see, sometimes they just go straight through. Sometimes those hawks can just go straight through you, which is annoying. I'm so sorry. I will I will get to the video topic. I just have to focus on this particular section. Let's just go ahead and get that. Oh, did I fuck up? Oh, I might have fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. This is a difficult section. And you might be like, Ian, your booty cheeks at this game. Which, you're not wrong. I'm bad at a lot of stuff, but... This is actually a difficult... Very difficult, uh... Part. Come on, Ian, use your sharpshooter skills. Use your sharpshooter skills. <laughs> there we go. Connor just texting me. So just recording at the moment. Ian texting while recording. What else is new? So the video topic today is going to be MJ and Roach and why I think they're issues. And MJ, here's the thing. And I just blame Murray. Good job, Sly. One of the MJ's biggest issues is mainly his damage and his ganks but there's also another character that remember to use our new battering ram by hitting the square button if anyone tries to keep you from those computers so mj mj is s tier pick which a lot of people do not believe like a lot of casual players they're like, how can MJ be S tier? What does he have? He's like, it has insane damage, insane ganks. He's one of the main reasons why infinites exist, mind you. Outside of other characters that can combo well. It's just like his gank is very easy to do. It is very easy to do once you understand how to do it. Which it, it don't take much. A lot of a lot of randoms do it on accident. <laughs> Which oh my lord, mine. Oh, this is close. This is always very close. Ian showing off his combat X racing skills. Tight turns. Ooh. He 
69, 68, 59, 60. There we go. That was close. <laughs> Sorry, that was close. Mm hmm. So, MJ is very strong. His st his axe mode is iffy. I mean, let's be honest. It's only like nine damage. It's like nine or twelve damage. But that's not where his issue shines. And his issue shines, which is funny as I say that it shines. Like it's what it's his strongest aspect, which is his team fighting and his gank. He does pre CCU damage in terms of his ganks and it's it is ridiculous it is the he is the because this is what people don't understand mj is the one of the main reasons why you do not see characters like raider and jj and zanhu in a lot of tournaments anymore there's a reason why you see those characters later is because mj i've done this a million times because of mj mj exists and until his damage is fixed and his ganks are fixed he'll always be an issue if I had a horseshoe I could uh, I could get past all that but I don't I might be able to now actually but His his ganks are very dumb. So his biggest issue is whenever Narochi's in play, because it can be an infinite with Storm Rush, and you won't get revenge, and it kills you like 100% of the time. And don't forget, in these tourney sections, yep, there that happens. That's why I need two horseshoes, because you get you get knocked out, and then and then the uh, spotlight gets you. But MJ's biggest issue is his damage pre CCU numbers. Nobody can match that damage. It's even worse with Fear itself, and his feats combo into him really well, which is good but bad. It's really good feat synergy. And it needs to be toned down. His one of his passives is when he ganks you, you are debuffed, which is very very bad. Which is what also leads into the issue with him. We've almost got this. There we go. Sly, cool. We get ready to play as Bentley. I should have known you were behind this. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> you sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I like his voice. I ain't gonna lie. Clockwork's voice is really nice. I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese. <laughs> so, another section I have to focus on here. Okay, I use the left analog stick to steer and the right analog stick to unleash my hacker code. Those green data packets need to be destroyed if I'm gonna get at the uh -oh. looks like I triggered one of Clockwork's security algorithms. Stay sharp, Bentley. <laughs> the sound it makes. But MJ's damage needs to be lowered along with his, like his synergy and his feats need to be adjusted too. Get on out of here. This reminds me of those old timey arcade games, which is what they were going for. Try again. The music's really good, actually, here. 
Oh, how many of y'all actually got into programming because of Sly Cooper? This is nothing but programming and hacking. It's like, wow. So don't get hit by the spinny red thing. That one-shots me pretty much, which is good to know. I forgot that that one-shots me, to be honest. Uh, once we get through with this, I'll continue the video topic. Oh my lord. Nope. How you like them reflexes, boys? I'm light, I'm light parry in the fuck it. <laughs> These things look like cheese. Oh my lord, oh my lord. All right, we just gotta focus on getting the arena smaller. Collect them as we go. Da -da 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 -da. This is the issue where this final section comes in. Like there's only one, but there's a lot of debris, or some people say debris. It's it's debris. It's not debris. I'm sorry. It's debris. There we go. The hacking mini games improve in the later series, but so MJ, he's they designed him in a time to where so the it used to be a ganking meta. Now it's a team fighting meta. And he was designed for team fighting specifically and ganking. He is a true hybrid. He does ganks and team fights really well. I don't get it, Cooper. And the you issue is with his gank, a lot of characters can do it very well. It is a very simple gank. It's like a Shigoki hug gank. He hugs you heavy light. Or in MJ's case, you bash, he grabs heavy light, grab, heavy light, grab. And if you don't parry that follow-up light, you're dead. And I'm okay with ganks doing this high, doing a high damage, mind you, if they're counterable. So, like the Valkyrie gank, like when Orochi gets thrown in the picture, it's a completely different story. But for any other character, a lot of like Valkyrie's gank, for example, does a high amount of damage. But if you fuck it up, it is a lot of tags, which is what ganks, which is what these ganks should be. You should have the dedication and the synergy to where if you prove it, if you do it correctly, then you should get rewarded. And if you don't, you get punished with high revenge tags. MJ, it's a lot, it's a lot different because and the frame drop there killed me. This section has a lot of frame droppage, by the way. See what I mean by the frame drop? It's unreal. A lot of this frame droppage is very unreal in this area. There we go. And he gets the cane. Now we're on to the, to the best parkour section in the game. So, when Orochi is thrown into the mix, it becomes an issue. Storm Rush is undodgeable, does 20, 20 damage, and is the main reason why a lot of infinites still exist in the game. 
The biggest issue of Orochi is, of course, double Orochi, infinite storm rush, no revenge. And when it's comboed with MJ, there's nothing you can do except parry the Orochi, or try to. If you can't, you're dead. There's, there's nothing you can do. It's an unfair gank. It is one of the most unfair ganks in this game, and it is not fun to go against. I'm climbing. It is not fun to go against. Nobody likes going against Orochi Gang, especially Infinite Storm Rush on anything. Storm Rush is a is a lot of issues for a, is issues for a lot of ganks. Look at a lot of problematic ganks. They got Storm Rush in them. A lot of the wow. A lot of the problematic ganks have Storm Rush in them. And I think that's what the devs need to look at, instead of completely gutting a character. If they fix the tags with Storm Rush, then everything will be fine. Adjust some damage values here and there, revenge tags here and there, which... I don't know how difficult it'll be because of spaghetti code, mind you, but... Storm Rush needs to be fixed because it, like I said, leads to a lot of issues. Ah, uh, ooh. That was actually very close. Come on. This is actually too close. Ooh, no. Ooh, that's close. Oh, I don't remember it being this close. Oh, that's what she said, mind you. Hurry. Hurry, Sly. <laughs> oh, did I fuck up? I was too slow. I was too slow on something. I was way too slow. This is a genuine, genuinely difficult section, which I like. It's a nice little skill check to test your parkour abilities you get to see Ian's true true parkour we're making a hell of a lot better uh, headway now that I'm actually focusing on this instead of getting I don't trust myself on that one I'm sorry I don't I, just, I did not trust myself on that at all. Bruh. I jumped at it on the wrong angle. This is a genuine difficult section. Don't don't bully me, please. Please, no bully. No bully. No bully here. I am not into bullying. I am not that sadistic. Yet I play. Yet I play. Yet I play Shigoki. Speaking of sadistic tendencies, I have been playing PK, and I ain't gonna lie, she's slippery. I've been enjoying her a lot. <sighs> I've really been enjoying PK, PK a lot, and she's very underrated. Now, mind you, when I fight, fight fight against somebody who has really good reactions, and I go against a react hard or a comp team. Yeah, fam, I'm sorry. PK dead. That bitch dead. Like, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do in that. Like, nothing at all. Like, what do you do? She's very, she's very nimble. I like it. She's the most, like, assassin assassin there is. Wow. Uh, we finally got a horseshoe. I don't want to, I don't want to talk about it. But we're going to try and get this all done in one episode, though. But like I said, PK is surprisingly nimble. She can do a decent bit of damage if you get her going and know how to play her. Like, her her dodge recoveries are almost, like, perfect. Like, I like that. I like that I can do a dodge cancel out of a out of a dagger. I like that. It's almost almost feels like what Shaman should have, should have had. I don't know how strong Shaman would be with that. 
But hey, I'll tell you a buff for PK though. I don't know how strong this would make her on paper. Is <clears throat> give her the ability to do her dagger cancel from all sides. Like Shaman. I don't know how much of a difference that would make, mind you. <coughs> Excuse me. Or like how much I put it up in the tier list, but I think she kind of deserves it because it can only come from one direction. You really just have to block top and external her and there's nothing she can do. But that's with a lot of assassins though. Alright. Alright, we made it. Onto the clockwork boss fight. But let me know what y'all think about little buff, little buff, buff, buff PK. Okay, that jetpack is easy to fly. Use the left analog stick to aim and steer, and press the square button to fire its rockets. Sly, behind Look at that bird. Sly Cooper, you have escaped my gas chamber. I like his voice. I love his voice. Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? Revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of jealousy and hate, awaiting a day when I will finally accept your very steaming meditation. Sly! My missiles don't hurt him but seem to create holes in his armor. Shoot into the gaps I create! Hell yeah, let's do it, boys. Superior. Hit him in the head. Headshot. The music in this is really fucking good. Everything's kind of inverted. Which makes this very difficult to fly. The fucking jetpack. <laughs> What's funny though is some of this music I listen to when working out. Uh, that's a difficult... That's a difficult one to get. Get to a better angle. You cannot escape me, Carnage is in the party, but I can't talk to him. I gotta tell him I can't talk. Wow, that's one tough owl. I don't get it. You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thievius Raccoonus? Because I wanted to show the world that without your precious book, the Cooper line... So, Carnage, you about to be in a video. <laughs> you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Enough, Sly Cooper. It yeah. ends here. I will finish you like I finished your father on the Cooper line. Oh, this is not the time for frame skips. This is not the time for frame skips, PlayStation Now. PlayStation Now, this is not the time for frame skips. Oh my god, y'all, I am so sorry. Oh my god, PlayStation Now, you're killing me. Oh, you're killing me. Why is this on an old server? Oh. Oh, my lord. Alright. Th the true battle is the frame rate. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Pray to the Sony gods. Pray to the Sony gods that we get this. Get that bird. We have a fried chicken in that. Fried Al. I'm gonna make chicken wings out of you, Clockwork. Or Al wings. Makes you wonder who's gonna do it. I'm sorry. I am not so. Oh. This used to give me trouble as a kid. I say that in like every episode. That's gonna be a theme in a bunch of the games that y'all see me go through. What? Whew. 
Sly's father did all this. Alright. That's not the end of it. Part three. Part three. It's not over, boys. Nope, oh, never mind. Never mind. I jumped and pressed the circle button. If anybody else that plays this game, they'll probably tell you that sometimes the inputs do not work. So, yeah. I'll be back when I get to that uh, that portion again, y'all. I am sorry. I am sorry for my incompetence. Unless y'all want to watch it, it depends. If y'all are still seeing this, then that means I decided, hey, y'all gonna watch me go through this again. See, Ian, ad adapt, improvise, overcome. Yeah, get on down there, bird. But, yeah, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, we're back. We are back. Alright, let's do this. Let's do it. Ian has to take it slow. He can't take any shortcuts. He can't speed run or nothing. Seven. Flowers. What are you saying? Never. I don't know what this man is saying, but we're almost there. Feet together. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, go up, go up, go up. Oh, oh, we did it. No, 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 no. Oh, I almost had the bug. You will never be rid of me. Clockwork is superior. It took some tricky maneuvering. So. <laughs> Sometimes when the head comes up like that, it can knock you off, which nearly happened. Raleigh, Mugshot, Ms. Ruby, Panda King, and finally Clockwork. I'd beaten them all one by one and reclaimed my birthright. Of course, there was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. I know this hasn't been easy for them, but they stuck with me through it all. <laughs> Murray. Boy, it took a lot of I can't remember. Somebody originally said, I think it was Sly Lancey, where he goes over like Sly Cooper facts. And I think somebody said, it was either him or somebody else, they said Murray was intended to be gay. I don't know how true that is, but that was apparently the case. Which would have been interesting as a kid. That would have been very interesting. Looks like we're not going to be friends anymore. Now that Clockwork's death ray is out of commission. We're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was going to slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. I felt bad leaving her stranded on that giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again. Ready for one of the best outro credits? Hey, oh yeah. A really good outro credit. That is it, y'all. That is it. We have finished Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus in nine episodes. Next is Sly 2 Band of Thieves, or in some other countries, it's called Sly 2 Renegades. But before that, we are going to go through and do a ranking of every single Sly episode from worst to best. And that will be available next week. And I look forward to that. I appreciate everybody that stopped in during this. I appreciate all the love, all the support. Y'all have been really enjoying this. And to me, it's an honor to go through my childhood with y'all. As some people don't know what this game is. They've never played it. They've only heard of it. So... I am happy to share my childhood with y'all. And we'll be going through a lot of my childhood games like Crash Bandicoot, Get Jack and Daxter, Spyro, you name it. We'll be going through them all. So, 
with that being said thank y'all for joining me on this adventure don't forget to follow and subscribe to become a seal baby i stream on my off nights on twitch internet depending with that being said i hope y'all enjoyed and i'll see all y'all in the next one